Police have started to stop members leaving Attila's gym here in Belmar. One man arrested today after he says he questioned police when they asked for his name. This guy's being arrested. Belmar police stepping in and arresting this man. He says when he asked police why they needed his name, he was cuffed, taken to the station and issued two citations. One for violating the governor's orders and the other for obstruction. We live in a communist country. Instead of arresting everybody else, come and arrest us in public. A handful of other members were stopped by police today leaving the gym and asked for their information. Co-owners Frank Trombetti and Ian Smith say they expect those members will receive citations in the mail. When people say United We Stand, this is a perfect example of it and I'm, I'm proud of our community. Here's your complaint. The two opened this morning for the second day in a row. They were also issued a second set of citations themselves this morning by Belmar Police. Their response to that? Thank you, Mr. Officer. I'll see you tomorrow. This apartment complex is still on fire at this time. You can see now heavy flames pouring out of the third, fourth, and fifth floors of this apartment complex. We are told that this is the Linwood Park apartment complex. And if there is any promising news here, it is this. They have contained this to this one building. What you're seeing here is actually two buildings, but they have contained it to just this one. And yes, everyone has been evacuated. And what we're hearing now are now horns telling all firefighters to get out if they were inside. They're giving the all clear to make sure it is clear because this will be a complete loss. We're only seeing right now one hose. And there it is again. You just heard telling all these firefighters to back out, back off, because this will be a loss. They have pretty much given up because it is out of control at this time. We have been told by fire officials that this started around 4.15 in the afternoon in the basement of this apartment complex. The cause is not yet known, but it has gotten out of control to this point. We can tell you we spoke to one victim, a man who was just inside going about business as usual. This is what he had to say to us earlier. I read some newspapers, watching TV. At Four o'clock, I hear fire alarm. So the alarms went off? Oh, loud. Okay, when you walked out, was the hallway filled with smoke? Completely. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! They came from across Monmouth County and beyond. First standing and then marching side by side. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Hundreds showed up outside the Asbury Park Post Office for the Monday night protest. The crowd spilling into the parking lot in front of the police station at City Hall. At one point in a moment of solidarity caught on camera, local police officers and sheriff's officers got down on one knee alongside protesters to honor George Floyd. This is uh, very serious and uh, that type of brutality, it's got to end. It's got to stop now. This is a dangerous time. Entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything. Who does that saying, look like to you? President Obama. Who do I think it is? Yes. President Obama. I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. They're putting words into somebody else's mouth. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you feel about that? that that technology oh, exists. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. I'm horrified. They're called deep fakes, videos made with sophisticated computer algorithms that can make it seem like a person is saying whatever you want them to. Comedian Jordan Peele proved that when he created this video for BuzzFeed. Did you know technology that could do that existed? Yeah, I've heard people say that it's out there, but I've never seen it myself. Sweatshirt. Underneath the piles of clothing and toys in these shopping carts. Are you going to do clothes or toys? Lies two very important lessons. So you're going to go out and you're going to buy the best and as much as you can buy. That's Mrs. Fisher's fourth grade class from Milford Brook in Manalapan. Well, I think we actually should get this. One. And their assignment for the day. That one looks cool. All right, should we get this one? Yeah. Is to shop. Not for themselves, but for less fortunate students in their own school community. It makes me feel 
um, good doing stuff for people. The money donated from students' families through fundraisers and spare change programs, this year raising close to $1,000. Those gifts all going to families on the school district's free and reduced lunch list that agreed to participate. As a counselor, I think it fosters kindness in students and an understanding of needs of others. I'm here at the PRX studios in Fort Lee about to take a total body blast class. Let's see what's in store. Back, 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 back. Welcome to your new addiction. Keep going, keep going. There's nothing like PRX. In and out. Live. Tap, tap, tap. Extreme, exciting. Right, left, right, left. Keep it going. PRX is a group personal training which allows us to do two different things. Conditioning-based training. Keep going. All the way down. And resistance-based training. Walk into the gym and get ready to work. Squats, core, a lot of back activation, lunges. In this gym, they push you and they want you to push your limits. In the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, sometimes Santa and his elves can get a little bit overwhelmed with gift deliveries. That's where Frosty's friends come in, helping to fulfill the holiday wishes from New Jersey children facing hardships. So games like Fortnite, Roblox, all the rage. We have so many kids who are specifically looking for career aspirations. There's also Elsa, Play-Doh, Slinkies, and toys for the little ones too. Frosty's Friends was created by the nonprofit Jersey Cares. Thousands of children send their holiday wish letters to Frosty each year, collected from about 40 other statewide 501c3 nonprofits. Jersey Cares then sends out those letters to those who request them. It's definitely pretty overwhelming at times just to see the sheer amount, but it's also so incredibly empowering to see how many people have stepped up.